My chance new girl watch made in China. We play ping pong ball made in China. Made in China the country. Made in China the Delhi. Made in China the world. Love I see you on the crazy. So, <laughs> welcome to the CDC house. It's a Wi-Fi name. Hi, your brother. Oh yeah, that's a logo, right? Yeah, that's just their logo. Did Higher Brothers, did it really come from that? Yeah, it's a Higher. So we have a link to the origin, but we won't continue it. They are still good to make the home store better. The Higher Brothers, a four-man hip-hop group named after a Chinese appliance company, is based out of this apartment in Chengdu. This is where they eat, sleep, and record songs. Despite being from China, they're way more known abroad because of YouTube. But YouTube is banned in China, so they have to use proxy software just to see people's reactions. What kind of comments do you get? They say, "Oh, you guys, Ching Chong brothers." Ching Ching Chong, Ching Chong. Nah. Chinese, yo, yo, Chinese is more, uh, 更说的更难听。嗯 ，Chinese can speak, can kill your heart, can kill your heart, can you hurt? 他们说什么？你们去找一个工作，好好的努力，挣钱盖洋房，买彩电，娶媳妇儿，都是这种又特别难听。The Higher Brothers have a large U.S. audience, thanks in large part to their manager Sean Miyashiro, who's based in L.A. They've never met in person and have to rely on video calls to communicate. Yo, what's up, sir? Sean? What's up, Sean? So when when you can bring us to America, huh? I'm going to, bro. I promise you. I promise. Maybe like after the Asia tour. We can bring you to America in October. I'll work on it right now. You mean this year? It sounds possible, huh? It's possible, bro. Yeah, everybody loves you here too, bro. Sean started working with the Higher Brothers in 2016. It was Company 88 Rising. How did you get hooked up with Higher Brothers? One of our employees just showed me their Black Cat video. I don't know, I just immediately got like a race drummer vibe, they were killing it. And I was like, this is the first time I've heard Chinese rap sound good. I just it was like, yo, can we like bring this to the world over here in America? I mean, Chinese artists don't typically do well in the mainstream period yeah. right. of America across genres. We're not right. even talking hip hop. That's what we're trying to change. Yeah. This isn't the first Asian act his company's worked with. We just moved in. And uh, we're just gonna like have a bunch of motherfuckers making shit in here. That's what we're gonna be doing. This is the epicenter. This is this media is the, company, though. It's not a record label. It's like kind of hard to wrap your head around what this it's, is. It's everything. It's everything. We literally have artist management, record label, people editing a video. Yo, what are you doing, bro? Just making like little clips and memes. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's actually exactly what people are gonna be doing here is making yeah, clips and memes, bro. We make meme, we're a meme factory. And you don't wanna fuck with a chigga like me. 88 Rising is also behind the viral success of Rich Chigga, who's from Indonesia. And they've also been working with Korean rapper Keith Eight. The one thread holding everything together is that their main talent pool is all Asian. I kind of just naturally saw that there was a, all this talent, all this culture, expression, uh, coming from all the different countries in Asia. But there's no like central place and uh, to kind of celebrate that. You see a lot of people griping about like you know the whitewashing of Hollywood and uh, very little Asian representation in entertainment and stuff like that. And I think that our philosophy is the way to kind of break out of that is be really fucking good at what you do, be undeniable, and and do it yourself. The Higher Brothers are undeniably good at what they do. At the Shanghai stop in their last tour, the venue was packed. 我觉得喜欢，我喜欢他比较小众化一点，因为大家都喜欢，那就没意思，没意思，真没意思。然后你看现在人这么多，我很少在毛门口看到这么多人。Hi brothers， 现在，嗯，怕买不到票。If you've ever been to a hip hop show in the U.S., the scene might look familiar. 
everything from the beats to the dance moves to the hairstyles is pretty much the same, except everyone's Chinese. I've seen this on some of the YouTube comments. People saying like, here's some Asian dudes, they're stealing black culture. What do y'all think about that? We learned it's black culture. So we, we study from them. And now it's 2017. Uh, the world is more closed. Black people watch Japanese cartoon. We listen hip hop, it's the same thing. We're more closed. <laughs> 